Hi, I'm August Bradley, and I'm gonna talk a little bit today about two new lights from Felix. Felix has had the Matrix, their original panel light. Now we have the Matrix 2 tunable white, and we have the Matrix 2 RGB. So both of these take advantage of the dense matrix technology that Felix is known for, and, and ha I believe they have it in all their products, certainly their, their high-end products. And the dense matrix takes a lot of LED lights and packs them together in a way that they're able to dissipate the heat, which is usually the problem with packing them in so tight. And the benefit of that is you have a, a tighter source of light, and you also have a better blending of the color range and tonal range within the light. So you get a higher quality of light from this unique proprietary dense matrix uh, cluster that Felix has created. These lights in these panels, they take what they do is they take four of the clusters, four of these dense matrix clusters, and put them behind diffusion and create this rectangular panel. And the result is something that gives you incredible range, incredible level of control, and a very, very high quality of light, uh, a quality of light that cannot be surpassed in an LED and quite frankly matches traditional bulb lights, but of course has all the advantages of an LED, the cooler temperatures, the lower power draw, the greater control and flexibility. So we're going to go through the, the feature set here and then talk about some of the accessories which give it even enhanced power over and above the base model. So what we've got is a broadband full spectrum LED source. Uh, just out of the box we have a 99 degree you know, spread. When you use the accessory, uh, the quad Fresnel, which we're going to talk about a little bit more, you're going to be able to cut that beam down to a 31 degree. So you've got a 31 and 99 degree option. And you've got the four dense matrix LED clusters in there. One of the remarkable things about these lights is not only are they incredibly bright, but they go super low. And these new models go give you even more control at the low end. They will, they will dim down to 0%. So 0%, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, up to 1%, and then it'll go all the way up to 100%, which is super bright. Let's turn this on and get a sense of how low these really go. So this is on about 0.2, and here I am pointing it directly at the camera. So you can get a sense of how much control. Very, it doesn't even register there. Now we start brightening it, and we've got incredible power when we need it, but we also have incredible finesse at the low end as essential as the high-end power. So the range of control in terms of the intensity and brightness is just extraordinary. And of course, both these lights do that. The difference between the RGB is it's going to give you the super saturated primary colors. I mean, it's what seems to me like every color in the rainbow. It's got the reds and the greens and the blues. You can control how saturated it is or how desaturated. And you can really hit any color in the spectrum. So music videos, background set design, just really bold, vibrant colors, the RGB will do that. For my work, I tend to just want really good skin tones and to mix and match with ambient light. So the tunable white is gonna let you do that. It's gonna let you go through tungsten all the way up to the daylight, and a little bit more than daylight, a little bit warmer than tungsten. The range is uh, 2800 to 6500K. Um, the RGB is gonna be able to go 2800 to 10,000K but then it's going to be able to go off the spectrum of white altogether into, into pretty much any co color you can imagine. So full color range across anything under the rainbow, as far as I can tell, on the RGB unit. If you want to stick within the white range, the white tunable is going to let you do any of the standard whites, whether it's interior, warm, rich, golden lighting, or external blue, bright, daylight lighting. This is going to give you the full range. Of course, the RGB can do that full range as well. So maximum control with the RGB, but the most uh, common range of color temperatures from the white tunable. We've got hue control, which is all the top of the line Felix units have the hue control, which is a plus or minus control for green and magenta. You can actually fine tune this, especially for, for skin tones. You can really optimize balance and blend with other lights, or if something looks a little bit off in the skin tone, you can fine tune it and get just the right color without having to then go into post and, and fix it in color grading. You can get it right on set, which is always appreciated faster and just better when you can do it in camera. So these give you that level of control. These are flicker free at any frame rate, which is essential these days. And they have very high CRI levels. At this point, LED is not even a, a compromise in terms of CRI and, and quality of lighting relative to bulb lights. So we're at the point where you get all the benefits, but you don't have the the cost in terms of performance. They, these lights have DMX control, so you can rig them up, you can rig dozens of them up, and they can communicate with, any, with each other, and you can control from a central source the brightness, the color, the, the hue, all that stuff. 
they have bit oh, they're super weather resistant and incredibly rugged. These cases have these big rubber bumpers on the side. They have this aluminum that is very light, but also extremely strong. It's a high grade aluminum, so it's, it's gonna be very, very robust. These bumpers are just incredibly solid. It's a dense rubber, and you can just tell these things can take a beating. This yoke is super solid metal. Uh, very, very solid, robust fixtures, as with all the Felix lights. That's, um, and that's essential, because if things are breaking, <laughs> that's not gonna get you very far. Uh, they have built-in softbox attachments, so they've got ports here on each of the corners. So that will let you throw in a rectangular softbox without a speed ring. As we'll discuss later with accessories, there is a speed ring that will give you more flexibility. But it's nice to know you can just pop on a softbox without a speed ring. I think that's a nice feature. And they are extremely lightweight for this level of brightness, intensity, and this level of soft lighting. These are 9.7 pounds, I believe. Uh, just a hair under 10 pounds and the ballast is maybe five or six pounds so super light for this level of performance and this level of brightness intensity especially considering how solid and robust the housing is so that's a big deal when you need to build things up and break them down fast when you're low on crew you don't have a lot of people and it's a, it's an important thing when you need to fly and travel and you need to you have x number of checked in luggage you can you can pull off with your number the number of people traveling and you need to pack as much as you can into those cases into those uh, checked in luggage these are going to let you get more in than uh, the more common heavy fixtures in this uh, category of light so a, a super valuable feature in terms of lightweight while still strong and rugged these draw 340 watts of power and will output more than a 1k tungsten soft light that's how they're rated, but frankly, I think this would go a lot more than a 1K tungsten soft light. Just, just eyeballing it, I, I don't recall tungsten, one, the soft lights going nearly this bright. So I think that's a, a pretty conservative rating. But yeah, the fact that they draw 340 watts of power and can go over 1K, that's, that's phenomenal. And that's you know really one of the big benefits of LEDs and these take full advantage of that. So comparing these two Matrix 2 panels to the previous matrix they have the improved low light dimming so they can go dimmer with more precision than the older matrix they have a better yoke so this fixture that, that the the fixture pivots around is improved the pivot point is further back so you get a little more range in terms of how far you can manipulate it without hitting it of course the unit will go all the way around so you have total control in that regard but being, the pivot being back here lets you aim in a wider range before the yoke starts interfering with the beam of light. These have DMX RDM, so that's the two-way DMX, so it can communicate both ways, which was not originally the case. They have a higher quality screen, so they've gone LED to OLED, which is nice, and uh, the XLR power, which is compatible with more batteries. So LEDs draw so little power, you can run them off batteries, and having an, a three pin XLR power source gives you just more flexibility in terms of types of battery sources you can work with. So now let's get into the accessories because this is one of my favorite parts of the Felix system. We've got the quad for now. So again, we have the four dense matrix clusters and this is designed to channel each of those four. So you pop this on the bottom, it's a little easier if you're looking from the front. Again, hard to do from the side but it pops on super easily. Let me just show you again so you can see how easily it goes on. Boom, and it locks on, completely locked. So if you're facing this down, that thing is solidly attached. And now it'll go from that 99 degree beam to a 31 degree beam by channeling each of the four dense matrix clusters. Super, I mean, it's small, it's got this rubber fixture on the side. Uh, I'm not sure what it's made of, but um, it, sound, it feels super durable. It's, it's not going to shatter even if it's dropped. And then we got the barn doors, which I love. The Felix accessories always attach in incredibly clever ways. This has an internal attachment that the Fresnel pops into, and then an external attachment, which the barn door pops into. So let's pull that up. And it goes on super quick, incredibly solid. Again, if this were facing down, it's locked on. It's not coming off. You've got large 
flags on the side to really channel and and control that spill light and you can you can use multiple fixtures at the same time so that's I think fantastic this comes out very easily and I'll show you how this looks from the side yeah it's just a extremely well designed barn door and then that's gonna come off very simply as well then finally we have the speed ring which is also incredibly well thought out so once again you do have the ability to, to attach a four rod rectangular softbox without a speed ring but with the speed ring which pops on the same way as the barn door and again it's super solid facing down it's gonna stay on I think this thing's not coming off until you release the latch this will do a couple things first of all it will let you do eight rod soft boxes so more round octagonal soft boxes and second of all it rotates so if you really want to control the angle and shape and dimension of your rectangular soft box this will let you do that it's compatible with a wide range of soft boxes beyond Felix so Felix has some soft boxes but this will work with Chimera or really most any soft box it looks uh, pretty standard to me and uh, in fact Felix's literature promotes that this is compatible with standard Chimera and other soft boxes so super versatile accessories very well thought out in terms of how they attach and, and maintain the low profile of the unit and pretty lightweight as well actually very lightweight as well so super strong metal but um but lightweight I would imagine it's aluminum again it's strong and light so that's an, that's an awesome combination so that is what we have with these two new panels I'm incredibly excited about them because just the level of control the solid housings that I just feel are kind of bomb proof I just have no concern about these breaking down in the middle of a production and the level of control and the quality of the light just these high CRI well-crafted dense matrix light sources that blend the light so evenly give you light on par with anything we've ever had so we can now ha get that level of light quality in the most controllable you know LED package and um, that's why these have become a standard part of my kit and pretty much all I use anymore so the Felix line gives you that level of control with you know between the panels the Fresnels the little mini 360s I don't know it's just a kit that solves every problem in terms of lighting for me so that's uh, my take on these I couldn't recommend them any more highly they are the best lights I've ever used and I continue to use them for that purpose so thank you for tuning in I highly recommend you give these a try